And now it's time for Calling All Horror Hounds. <laughs> this week we are looking at Critters. Uh, this is a movie that, for whatever reason, I have been dying to see lately. It's a movie I'd never seen. It is in the class of Gremlins knockoff movies about small little furry things that want to, you know, that are going to cause havoc. I had somehow never seen the Critters movies. I, you know, I've seen some of the other um, Gremlins knockoff movies. I'm, you know, aware of your ghoulies and your hobgoblins and things like that. And so I kind of had lumped Critters in with that until I, I don't know, I was looking around on the internet or something the other day, and I found out that the Critters are space aliens that are being pursued on Earth by like space bounty hunters. This sounded like a movie for me. So I was very excited to check out Critters recently. I got to tell you, it's great fun. I think the little monster design on the critters is, is really fun and terrific. Um, they are, however, and I like the conceit of that they're these sort of intergalactic eating machines that show up on a planet and just devastate it through eating everything. Um, but I was disappointed that they're sort of, they're so easily dispatched. Once they invade the farm our heroes live on, our heroes don't have a lot of trouble blowing them away and dealing with them case by case. The movie is also a little bit slow in the middle and by the end has a little bit worn out its welcome, but it's a terrifically fun movie. It is not something to take itself too seriously. The critters were designed by the Chiodo brothers who were responsible for killer clowns from outer space. And Critters is very much in that sort of a ballpark, although the Chiodos aren't directing here, so we get a much more workable plot. The bounty hunters are pretty fun. I like the conceit of the bounty hunters switching faces when they encounter people, like they can kind of copy the face of people they see on the street. So that's kind of fun if a little bit confusing. And I do have to single Critters out for having, I don't want to spoil it in detail, but for dropping the best F-bomb I've seen in a movie in recent memory. Critters, three and a half stars. And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.